We have some sample budget data here, and I want to show you how you can use Google Sheets Explorer to create charts that you can even use in a report, and you can even make them update automatically if the data in your sheet changes. Start by highlighting the data you want to explore, and then click Explore in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to start by asking a question. We want to look at um, the total amount economics is spent by category. So we want to have it organized out by category. So we're going to ask the question total amount for, uh, for economics by category. And what this is going to do, it's almost going to create a pivot table for us of the economic spending by category. When we click enter, we're going to get the information here in this table format. And we can actually go ahead and click on see formula to see how they got that. And we can even drag it into our sheet so we have that information here. Now this is all created by a formula. So if anything in our sheet changes, the data here will also change. Now I'm going to ask, pull up that question again so that I can show you how the charts work. Total amount for economics well, we have to have to select the select the right columns again for that to where we go. Total amount for economics by category. The other option we have here in addition to the formula is a chart. And I can, with this chart, I can change here the type of chart that they create directly in that option. And I can also insert it right into my sheet. If I insert this chart here, it's going to be a snapshot of the, of the data the way it is right now. It will update if my data in the chart changes. So, for example, right now supplies is the smallest. But if I go ahead and I change this first economics supply category and make it much larger, you'll see that my chart doesn't change. But remember that this formula we have here is creating this data dynamically and it's updating along with my data in columns A through D. So if you want to have a chart that updates automatically, what you can do is edit this one here. Start by clicking on the dots in the top left corner, uh, top right corner of the chart and select edit chart. And now if we choose the range of this data here, it will actually update with it. So we'll click here on the select data range, and we're going to select this data here that we got from the Explore formula and click OK. And you'll see now our chart has updated to reflect this new information. If you do want to add this into a report, if you use Google Docs, for example, you can click on the dots here and choose Copy Chart. And then I have a Google Doc here ready for my report. I'll choose right click and paste. And I have the option to do paste unlinked with this static one time view of the chart. But linked to spreadsheet is going to give me the option to update this chart if my data changes. So I'll use that um, link to spreadsheet and click paste. And I have my chart here. So let's go back into our data and make some more changes. Let's take that supply category back down to the $100 it was before. And when I change it there, it changes in my little chart here. And it also changes in the table here in my spreadsheet. <clears throat> Supplies is back down here in the bottom. And if I go over to my report, I'll see that an update button appears. And if I want to see the newest version of this chart based on the new data, all I need to do is click Update, and Supplies goes back down to the bottom. This is a really great way to work with your data and to keep things connected so your reports and your data are all linked and updated and current. Some of the great things that you can do with Google Sheets Explore.